Many makers of facial soap, shower gel, and other cleansing products advertise on their packaging that their products are deep cleansing or exfoliating. Often the key ingredients in these products are so-called microbeads. But because these microbeads are often less than 5 millimeters in diameter, wastewater treatment plants are unable to effectively filter them during treatment. And the beads end up directly in the ocean, where sea creatures consume them. That has set the stage for an imminent ecological and health catastrophe, prompting the Taiwan EPA to come up with a law to ban the sale of products containing microbeads starting in 2018. Our Sunday in-depth report. These days, there's a considerable market for skincare products, and especially exfoliating gels and scrubs, which are advertised for their ability to leave skin smooth and clear. It works like a type of scrubbing action. With these hundreds of tiny microbeads, rubbing them around is just like scrubbing, and doing so helps remove a layer of skin. Taking a walk around the cosmetic section of a mall, you can see numerous products advertising deep cleansing effects. Microbeads are the key ingredient in many of those products, but what are they exactly? In this clinical toxicology laboratory at Chang'eng Memorial Hospital in Linko, New Taipei, researchers are running tests on this cleansing lotion, body wash, and facial scrub randomly picked from store shelves. They add water and stir the solutions. After letting them settle, they use pipettes to remove samples of the solid sediment at the bottom. The sediment is then placed in beakers and spun in a centrifuge. After that, the sediment is heated to help separate the particles for better viewing under a microscope. These three randomly selected products claiming exfoliating properties all contain quantities of microbeads. And in each case, the so-called microbeads are actually made of plastic. If these tiny plastic beads continue to collect in our bodies, and especially in our skin, then on balance, they will have a harmful effect on our skin. The observations of those in Chang'e Memorial Hospital's toxicology lab were consistent with the results of a study conducted by NGO Taiwan Watch over the course of the past couple of years. About 60% or more beauty products that claim to have exfoliating properties contain these plastic particles. The ones with the most are actually cleansing lotions and products specifically for exfoliating. Sun Weizhe, who has a professional background in molecular biology, performed a component analysis of over 500 different publicly available cosmetic products. This is one body wash product with a volume of 200 cc. We found that it contained polyethylene. And filtering it using a coffee filter, we found that it contained around 70 cc of plastic particles. Plastic particles in that product made up more than one-third of the total volume. Other products claiming natural ingredients also revealed a considerable amount of plastic particles after testing. Moreover, the diameter of these plastic particles is no more than five millimeters, small enough to do irreparable damage to many organisms. Scientists have discovered that animals such as fish that ingest pollutants in the form of plastic particles may not be able to move as fast as before. We're also concerned that they may pose a similar danger to humans. It doesn't take a huge leap of imagination to picture those fish ending up on someone's dinner table. What might happen if we eat that fish? If we follow the biological food chain to trace these particles up to when they enter our bodies, the first question is whether these plastic objects contain plasticizing agents. The second question is whether the heavy metal content is relatively high. In the face of the health threat posed by these microbeads, the United States Congress has passed the Microbead Free Waters Act, which starting in 2017 will ban manufacturers from producing beauty products containing the particles. 
Taiwan's Environmental Protection Agency is drafting its own bill, which could prohibit all sales of products containing microbeads as early as 2018. Consumers looking to avoid products with microbeads can use a special smartphone app to check if a given product contains the particles or not. What's more, there are other products without microbeads that can provide the same exfoliating effects. Lots of different chemicals are able to remove dead skin. Products derived from urea or alpha hydroxy acid are all commonly used by dermatologists for exfoliation. A move away from microbeads and other harmful plastic particles in cosmetics will not only depend on the awareness of consumers and the cooperation of producers. The positive intervention of regulatory authorities will also be necessary to secure the integrity of our natural environment and the health of those who depend upon it.